All right. Well, hello and welcome to the Admin Bar, Episode 7, the Blooper Reel episode, keeping your business on track. I am Kyle Van Dusen, and I am joined, as always, by my good buddy and pal, Matt Siebert. What's up, Matt? Not much. Just trying to figure out this uh, new way of, of Facebook streaming. Yes. Facebook is a new concept to both of us, so we're just learning, guys. So uh, I thought it was a library. Me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So today, uh, for those of you who are listening on audio and can't see, I've been saying, as you can see, but you can't see because it's audio. So we have with us today Imogen Allen and Leanne Mitten. They're going to talk to us about uh, accountability can't relationships see, I've been saying what they're getting out of it. So I'm excited about that. Hello to both of you. Uh, Imogen, why don't you start us off by introducing yourself? Hi, Kyle. Hi, Matt. Thanks for having me here. Hi, Leanne. Hi. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm Imogen Allen. My business is Umbrella Digital Media and I'm based over in a, a county called Staffordshire in the UK. And, um, I noticed I, that accent was different. <laughs> just a little different. I think we've got a nice mix today, haven't we? Right. We do. So yeah, I've uh, been in the WordPress space for a few years now and um, which has been an amazing experience. I love the community. So I'm really, really happy to be here to talk about something that I think is really important for people to to be able to do and to learn more about absolutely well we're glad to have you here and leanne how about you introduce yourself all right i am leanne my business is norlink i have been in the web development field for about 21 years now uh the wordpress space for i think about six and i've just kind of started um really getting into the community in the last probably year and a half and it has been amazing for my business yeah i can't even imagine what this would be like without the community i mean when i came in it's lonely yeah when i came in i found it immediately so uh i can't, I can't imagine I, I know i'd be stuck like way back uh in the beginning days had i not found all these awesome people to help me out well the thing is i mean when i started facebook wasn't a thing google wasn't even really a thing so you just you never even knew to go and look for it because it was just always never there and then I kind of stumbled across some stuff on Facebook and it's like, holy crap, I'm like, this is awesome. Yeah, it's it's certainly cool. I'm excited to make all these connections and look at, we're like communicating across the world. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, I got y'all both on the show today because I want to talk about um, y'all's friendship and how you guys are helping each other uh, grow your business. So I know you guys have a an accountability relationship and you do, um, you know, regular calls and chats with each other and help each other out with your business. And me and Matt do uh, something similar. Uh, I think we have a little bit of different ways of going about it. So I think that'll be interesting for the group. And I know uh, there was some people already commenting in the group saying they are working on getting uh, some systems like this in place for themselves. So I'm hoping we can inspire some people and give some people some ideas on how they can do this for themselves. Because just like the community has helped me out a ton, um, having this relationship and this friendship with Matt has helped me out uh, loads because I just always have somebody to bounce ideas off of, you know, so, mm -hmm. um, he can tell me real quick that all my ideas are stupid and that makes me, uh, <laughs> or vent, you're able to vent too. And that's, yeah. uh, that's, that's a needed thing. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And yeah. You know, when I think it's important, especially for people who are like solo in their business and they don't have employees or anything to like discuss the business with but even people who do have employees you know you're not going to have the same conversations with your employees that you would with like a partner in the business you know so there's some some things that it's just not appropriate to discuss with the employees so that's another way having one of these uh you know partners like this can help you out because you have somebody else to bounce ideas off of that you're not having to like you know skirt around certain issues with so mm -hmm. how, how did y'all's uh relationship begin how did how did y'all find each other and, and and start this out uh imogen i guess i'll let you start us off sure uh, okay yeah well <laughs> leanne and i i think we kind of started to find the wordpress community around the same time and we were in a group called um grow your web design business and that's run by james rose of content snare um we were active in there, having conversations. It was at the time, it was, I don't know, about 15 months ago, Leanne, something about like that. that. Yeah, yeah. So it was a much smaller group than it is now. And we were all helping each other. It was a really, really friendly place to be. 
and we just got chatting and the more familiar you get with people and um then actually we we were quite um busy in the group and james asked us if we would be moderators in the group so we we said yeah sure we'd love to kind of give something back for um being in the group and getting a lot of value out of it so we carried on what we were doing and then WP Elevation um, was kind of on the horizon for both of us and um, we talked about it, didn't we? Because there was a lot yeah. of chat about that at the time and we both decided to join WP Elevation at the same time. So that was uh, over 12 months ago now. Mm -hmm. um, and at that time, when you go into uh, WP Elevation, one of the biggest things that they do is set you up with an accountability partner right away when you, when you start the course because um, as we'll discuss, it's really important. Um, and they kind of try and match you up with people in the same country, perhaps at the same kind of level, or, you know, try and have some kind of common common theme. And um, we, um, I was matched up with somebody who was in the UK, but they were in a really different place to me. We did chat, but it was very brief every month and it didn't really um, add much value. And Leanne, I believe your, your accountability partner, um, dropped out didn't they yeah she did so and this was right at the beginning and I said you know um why don't we just hook up and be accountable to each other mm -hmm. so we we thought that was a great idea and um that's how it all started yeah so do you do you want to carry on Leanne and say how it kind of worked out in the beginning how often we had to do it and that kind of stuff Oof. ah let's see let's see if I can remember back that far <laughs> um I mean you know Imogen and I you know we usually chat every Friday morning it's kind of you know a standing thing um we usually chat for about an hour and I mean you know we'll we'll cover like anything it's like you know kind of what are we struggling with and you know what are some, kind of some wins that we had or you know do we just need to rant or do we just need to just chat because sometimes working from home is lonely and I mean you don't always talk to people and my cats don't really have that good of conversation sometimes <laughs> They're just like, um, why aren't you petting me? Right. And the spouses don't really care that much. <laughs> he, I mean, he's not home. And I mean, he doesn't understand a lot of this, you know, the, the web development part of it. Um, I mean, he did some of it years ago, but it's changed a lot. So um, it's nice to have someone just to talk about, to talk to who understands, um, you know, the, the same type of business that I have. Well, it's kind yeah. of interesting. It's kind of interesting that you both started off with somebody different, and then uh, you know, in that kind of structured plan, and then it ended up with, uh, you know, linking up together the two of you, and then now it's been you know over a year since then. So how important is like finding somebody with a a similar personality or somebody that you really get along with? You know, that it's not just so structured businessy. You know, is that important to you, Leanne? Um, yeah, I think so. Because I mean, I'm I'm not a I'm not a super serious person, um, I, you know, yeah, sure. <laughs> no. um, so, you know, you need to find someone that you can get along with well, who, you know, can just, you know, I'll, I'll randomly send an image in a text message with like this big long rant. And then it's like, okay, and rant, okay, I feel better now. <laughs> and you can't do that with everybody. Some people just, they don't get it. Um, so you need to find someone who kind of gets you and that, you know, you kind of have the, the same sort of, um, mindset with things. And Imogen, is y'all's businesses pretty similar as far as the kind of work y'all do? Um, I think the similarities and differences, I think that, um, one of the things that I think what works really well for us is that we actually bring different things to the table. So when you're saying about personalities and whether um, you kind of want to go with people that match that or perhaps um, have a different take on stuff, because everyone has a different experience. And Leanne's been in this industry for a long, long time, and her, she's very <clears throat> she's very able technically. She has really great technical experience and, and can often lead me with, well, perhaps you could try this, or if I have a real technical problem, I can just um, send her a message any time and she'll... she'll give me a hand whereas I'm kind of good with words and maybe phrasing things or if sometimes you've got to write a tricky email or something like that and it's really hard to do it yourself sometimes because you're really in it so mm -hmm. she might send something over to me and say you know I'm going to say this what do you think and and I can see it because I know Leanne 
well, but I'm not clo that close. So I, I can offer um, a different perspective and she can do that with me as well. Because sometimes you just get stuck in your rut or you're feeling down about something and it can just lift you up that, that actually you're not alone and that you can you have the same things going on as, as other people and the same worries. Um, so yeah, it's 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 about bringing different things to the table, and I think that we were we came together because we kind of took that accountability on board. But I think as you go through the space and the conversations you have with people, you can naturally forge these relationships with people you think you you're getting on with, and then say, well, you know, hey, why don't we have a chat? And that's a really good way to maybe start it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Matt. I you know, the way the way we kind of started, you know, our friendship and how this is all ended up was wasn't on this track. It wasn't to have this sort of relationship uh, that just kind of happened organically. But how much uh, or by mistake, think, <laughs> by mistake, how much difference do you think it's made? <laughs> like as time goes on, the more that we know about each other's business, I feel like this whole thing gets better, like we're able to help each other out so much more. So how much do you got to kind of like bake in some time before you really know how well it's working for you? Yeah, it took a little while for us to, to kind of realize that like a, a partnership or, or whatever it is that we, a friendship uh, would work better than anything else. Um, probably like what, two months? Probably something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably, probably about the same with us. I mean, you know, we kind of talked a bunch in the grow group and then kind of, you know, started chatting a little bit more through Facebook messenger and then um, around the time of the WP elevation. And we decided to, Hey, you know, like let's start doing these weekly calls um, before that we hadn't done anything like that. It was just, you know, the random Facebook message now and again. And, um, so I think like, you know, the, just that, that weekly check-in has been hugely beneficial. Yeah. We actually have, I think one of the biggest, most important tips I could give anybody is to actually um, make it a weekly or however often it is in the diary. It's a recurring appointment because mm -hmm. if you keep moving when you're going to talk, you won't do it. Yeah. So we have every Friday, it's the same time every week. Um, and it, it's, um, it's very, very unusual if one of us can't make it um so yeah i definitely if you do it weekly i think the thing with weekly is you can keep a flow going so if you've got mm -hmm. a situation um that you're struggling with then the following week you can perhaps look at setting some goals of how you could help the other person work that through and then check in with them the next week what well, is still fresh whereas if it's monthly there's so much to cover and maybe you might take longer and that kind of eats into your time so it's finding a balance that works for you, even if it's a half an hour check in each week. So it's not overwhelming that you think you've got to devote a lot of time to it. But to be honest, it's worth the time because you get so mm -hmm. much out of it. And I know that if I'm really stuck, I don't have to send the message to Leanne and go, Hey, how are you? Da, da, da. I just go, Can you help me with this? Because all that is already part and parcel. Yeah. So it's just a real quick, hey, can you just check this for me? And that's it. And we just roll on like that. So we know we've got someone, um, you know, helping us all the time. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, so keep that momentum and, and make make it a regular <clears throat> date at the same time each week. Yeah. yeah. Almost... If, Go ahead, Matt. If I didn't hear from Kyle, uh, like, daily during the week, I would, I would call his wife and ask if he's okay. Like, I mean, <laughs> we talk to each other multiple times a day, like at mm. least three, you know, and it's, it's usually wow. phone calls. Yeah, and Cause you're in the business together as well, aren't you? You're doing this. So there's that need to, to, to have that too, I guess. Or is, is that anyway, is that I like, more like having an office buddy? It's more like having an office buddy, like leaning out of the cubicle mm. and saying, Hey, check out what's going on like it's yeah. um or like any kind of question or you know just explaining what's going on and uh yeah we we do that a lot i think yeah. we both just work you know we both work solo so it's it's as if you know we had a a uh, co-worker sitting next to us you know except we're not physically next to each other so we just find other ways to communicate but we communicate mm -hmm. kind of the same way you would with a co-worker now i i wonder how uh, you know, I didn't think this was odd until we were on, a, me and Matt were on Lee Jackson's podcast together, mm -hmm. shout out Lee, um, and we were kind of talking about the things that we talk about um, 
as far as our business. And we, we talked about how we've kind of gamified our sales and we talk about, you know, our sales numbers every month. We talk mm. about our costs. I mean, I, I really don't hold anything back as far as like business information. Like if Matt wanted to screw me over, he has like all my info and in some, <laughs> so, um, you know, I guess that's a little risky. Um, but I wonder how unique that is. And, and, and if you guys wouldn't mind sharing what are kind of some of the limitations y'all have, even if maybe they're uh, not hard limitations, but how, how deep into your business do you get with each other? Um, well, I mean, we definitely don't go into kind of the financial stuff because I mean, you know, I'm here in Canada, Imogen's over in the UK. So I mean, value wise, every, it's just, it's a totally different, um, you know, like what I charge for a website versus what she can charge for a website is they're, they're not really that comparable. Um, but I mean, you know, we do, um, you know, we'll, we'll talk about, you know, different ways that we're trying to, you know, get new, new projects or, you know, Hey, I'm thinking of, you know, shifting my business more towards, you know, um, this sort of niche kind of market, um, you know, figuring out the niche is something that Imogen and I are both, you know, kind of going back and forth about and figuring out exactly where we want to have our businesses. So I think, you know, we talk about that a lot um, in our calls and it's like, Hey, you know, I'm, Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I think with the finances, sometimes we talk about it in relative terms to ourselves. So Leanne might say to me, well, I've got this project and I say, well, what do you think you're going to charge for it? How are you going to evaluate that? And you know, <clears throat> what value are you going to put in that project and what's it going to entail? So she'll tell me, so we can see a pattern for both of us where she's m moving forward and maybe um, getting bigger projects and working with other people to help, you know, um, deliver that project. So we might, we won't go down to the nitty gritty necessarily, but um, I can, you know, in the time that we've been talking, I can see how far Leanne's come in terms of what she offers, what she charges, what value she gives, you know, how her projects are all put together. Um, so we do it that way, but yeah, other than that, we, we, we don't, we don't go down to kind of targets and, and discuss that. However, if I, if I wanted to talk about that, it, I wouldn't have a problem with Leanne and say, um, what do you think about this? This is what I've done. This is what I'm going to do. And these are the figures. Does it make sense to you? I wouldn't have a problem with that, but we haven't really needed to do that, have we? No, no. Yeah. And I think it just depends on, you yeah. know, what what both parties are comfortable with i don't think there has to be any like these are the ground rules of how this thing works it's just yeah. you know, however it works for you is how it works best uh you know one thing that's helped kind of push me in that is that we're, our businesses are are well we both use the same currency so that helps um but uh our businesses are are pretty similar as far as the kind of work we do the kind of clients we have I mean, um, even our aesthetic is is very similar right yeah. but but our sales are about on track with each other. In fact, uh, you know, we we keep a, you know, towards the end of the month, we'll talk about, hey, you know, this is my sales for the month. And we try to beat each other because it's just fun mm. to do. Uh, <laughs> and, 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 yeah. yeah. So at the end of, I guess, uh, October, uh, we did what our sales were for the year. And mm. for, for 10 months of the year, we were like a couple hundred dollars away from each other. And oh, so, wow. Yeah, so these last few months are going to be pretty cr critical on who uh, who gets to wear the crown. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody wants to throw any business my way, uh, <laughs> I'll put my email down in the show notes. It's true. He needs he needs it. <clears throat> I can't afford your exchange rate. <laughs> right. yeah. So other than you know, we kind of talked about um, you know the the benefits you get out of it. What are kind of the do y'all have a certain structure? Do you make notes? Do you follow up on certain things? How do those phone calls, like take me into one of those phone calls how do, or, or chats or however y'all do it, how does that go? Well, we do everything on Zoom. And I think um, the first thing we we normally talk about, if there's something really pressing, that will be the first thing, whoever's um, topic is most pressing. And then we, we look at what, you know, what have we done this week, talk through the week. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes we'll talk about whatever it is that was quite an issue that week, good, bad, whatever. And then we'll look at what's coming up. When we when we round up, we to look at what's coming next week. 
So we have a bit of a review and then we look at what's coming and then whatever co- throws up, it's really flexible as mm-hmm. to what we talk about, isn't it? Because it depends. Sometimes, you know, you don't realise you might want to talk about something until you're re- reviewing what's gone on that week and then something jumps out and then we kind of end up talking about that and I might have found something out or Leanne might be saying to me, oh, you know, hey, I read about this or... Um, a resource or something that, that's come up or conversations to have with somebody so it's really it's really really fluid it's really fluid mm-hmm. but yeah look at what's gone before and look at what's coming up is a is kind of starts and finishes yeah, yeah. so do you do you uh leanne i guess i'll ask you this one do you think having this uh set up has increased your profitability or your sales or your confidence or, or what what kind of things in your business that you can almost kind of measure you know, so i guess we can't really say confidence but uh, what, i think what, that's my answer yeah yeah confidence well good i mean confidence yeah. for me too but is there any kind of like measurable differences you've seen in the last 15 months versus the 15 months before that let's say <sighs> measurable. Um, I mean, for, for myself, like I, I definitely suffer from imposter syndrome and, you know, Imogen is there to kind of remind me that no, like I am, I'm awesome at, you know, these things that I'm able to bring to the table for my clients. And for me, I don't always see that. So, I mean, that's been really beneficial. Um, in terms of measurability, I can't think of anything really. Um, I know like the, just that, that confidence thing and just knowing that I have someone to bounce ideas off of and bounce my frustrations off of. I, I think with the measurability, I think that some, uh, with some of the projects that perhaps you would have, you mm-hmm. were charging more for them. That's um, true, yeah. And having the confidence to actually put that forward and, and be able to express, you know, um, what the job is and the value you're going to bring and the, all the work that's involved. So mm-hmm. I think it's like step by step, bit by bit, that you're always improving. And yeah. if someone's in your corner, you just just gives you that bit of a boost, doesn't it, to to mm-hmm. go for bigger projects or um, do other things that are really enhance your business. Yeah. So um, what would you say to the people that are are watching or, or listening to this that I definitely think that this is a good idea and it's something that they want to to pursue. What what would you look for in somebody that uh, that you might want to partner up with? I think I mean you need to find someone who kind of plays off of your strengths, but also um, you know where they have their strengths is where your weaknesses is. Like Imogen is really great at doing like sales funnels, whereas I'm still kind of learning all of that. Um, you know, I've got more of that technical background, that HTML, the CSS, some of the, the server background stuff, and Imogen doesn't have that. So we have our strengths and our weaknesses to kind of, you know, help each other out. Because, um, I mean, you know, some people are good at one thing and some people are better at others. And um, it's just nice to have someone who can help you where you're not as strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like- we need a, a dating app for this, like a Tinder <laughs> app for finding an accountability partner. So if anybody wants to make that, we'll, uh, I th- that would be useful. I think it comes from having conversations as well. So if you're in um, groups and you're talking to people um, and uh, people, certain people might stand out in your, that you notice more than others, Mm-hmm. And perhaps you've had a conversation about something where either they've helped you, you've helped them, and and organically that can gather momentum. And um, I, you know, I I'm very much one because I speak to different people um, <clears throat> on a regular basis, um, not necessarily on a fixed basis <clears throat> like Leanne. And I do have an accountability buddy in the UK, David Hibbert, who I speak to a bit like just pick up the phone and call. And I think that the key is that every every person you deal with, you have a slightly different relationship with. So it's like when, when you have a bunch of friends, you speak to different people about different things, don't you? And it's just the same with accountability. So um, the, the thing you have to be careful of is that you're doing too much talking with other people and not enough work. <laughs> but it, that's really great. But you just have to manage 
time carefully. So I don't think it's appropriate to just message someone that you don't really know well and say, hey, do you want to be accountable with me? That's a bit like dating. You wouldn't do that, would you, you say? Want to get married? <laughs> Yeah. No, I think what you said is, uh, it makes a lot of sense. Like it, it needs to almost be organic in a way. Um, yeah. and different people, like they need different things when they're looking for any kind of accountability. Like myself, for example, if I, uh, if Kyle was to tell me, Hey, you know, or like keep reminding me or keep telling me you've got this, you need to do this. I'm incredibly stubborn and I wouldn't do it because he's telling me to. Um, and I think that's why Kyle and I work so well together is that, you know, any anything that he says or I say to him, it's always just suggestion. It's always just, you know, just pure mm -hmm. help. Um, but some people need more of a structure. They need more of a, uh, you know, like a rigid guide that uh, that helps them, set, you know, set goals and, and stick to them. You know, and I think like finding finding that in an accountability partner is uh, is really important as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. I'm gonna I, I, I'm gonna kind of show that I'm I'm probably doing the wrong thing, going against what Imogen just said, and spending too much time chatting with people. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, like you said, there are people that you notice in the group, or you have some kind of back and forth, some kind of thread goes on, and and you just end up talking to somebody, or you shoot them a message, or whatever. You know, I've jumped on Zoom calls with a ton of you know, people in these groups, and sometimes they're five, ten minutes. You know, we just say, "Hey, what's up?" You know, we might be helping each other with something, but it's a good way to just, you know, kind of get a get a feel for other people and see who you get along with. You know, so there's definitely, you know, you know, we're all in like fifty groups, and half the people are the same and all. But you know, you can't keep track yeah. of everybody. But you have certain people that you. Uh, start to recognize or start to have conversations with or get along with. So, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't hurt to just jump on a call. You know, I've set That's up a link cool. on my website uh, where people can go in there and schedule a 30 minute call and boom, it's in my calendar. And, you know, I can always use a 30 minute break to jump on a call and talk with somebody uh, mm -hmm. you know, about whatever. Um, and, you know, of course, doing this show has helped out that a lot. You know, you meet a lot of people doing something like this, but, you know, you don't have to you don't have to go out there just searching for, okay, um, the next person I talk to is going to be my accountability partner. You know, just start meeting people and seeing. Yeah. Man, this, <laughs> this really is dating advice. Yeah. Like, it totally is. honestly, <laughs> like you, if, if you want a relationship, it's probably not going to happen. But as yeah. soon as you say, all right, I'm just going to focus on me. I'm going to do me. Yeah. You're going to, you're going to find yourself in a relationship. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. so true. Yeah. yeah it so is. I'm telling you, it's, we just need a Tinder app. Somebody for yeah. Tinder for us. <laughs> yep. But yeah, it's great to have conversations because, you know, it doesn't matter who you speak to in this space. People have very similar worries and fears, mm -hmm. and like successes and mistakes. And it's very, very open. So, you know, if you see somebody struggling, um, you know, if I do see somebody struggling and I, I kind of got to know them a little bit, then I'd always offer because um, mm -hmm. it just might make them have a better day as well, you know. Yeah don't want people suffering in silence and of course um my 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 um one of the biggest things for me is mental health so and looking at yourself and not being alone and it can be like you said Leanne it can be really lonely so mm -hmm. reaching out and speaking to people you know how are you today um just having those conversations can really really make a big big difference um so yeah it's that's really important and this kind of like harkens back to uh, last week's episode with Liam, where, you know, it's the whole community, like the whole creative community, we're, we're so like open and helpful. Like it's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. You don't find that yeah. everywhere. No. Yeah. And that's yeah. one thing I was going to talk about uh, in, in our <clears throat> pre-show talks, Imogen had brought up like the mental health aspect of it. I think that's important too, just, you know, stuck in a room all day by yourself you might not even notice you know signs of depression or you know anxiety and stuff like that and i know that's something that you said is important to you my wife's a, a mental health counselor so it's something like mm -hmm. i i am at least aware of some of these things you know not saying i'm any kind of a uh, help to any of that but i at least hear her talk you know um yeah. so th there are you know there are ways you could be suffering and not even know it we're having somebody to talk to is super helpful so if, if you do find yourself like being alone a lot or not talking with people you know definitely get out there and just reach out and talk to some people you might feel better and you didn't even know you felt bad in the first place yeah exactly yeah mm -hmm. it's it's really really important and the thing is that um i think one of the things with social media is that it, in the groups it's fantastic resource and it's a really great place to go and get help and help others 
but you can subconsciously compare yourself and that can be really demoralizing and the imposter syndrome creep up. So uh, having conversations just blows that away and you, you helps you get back on track and you don't feel that you're on your own. Um, and I know that you've got Dan maybe coming on in a couple of weeks from yeah, yeah. WP and up. So yeah, and WP and up are trying to really um, create awareness around mental health in the community and looking to support people and promote positive mental health. So yeah, just having conversations, it's, it's not only helps, if, if you can't look after yourself and um, have the resources for yourself, then your business will suffer. So yeah. It's, it's a brilliant way to solve quite a few things, having that, that morale booster, someone to talk to, um, and, you know, perhaps get some motivation and set a few goals and be accountable with them. So, yeah, an all-round all win-win situation. Mm -hmm. All right. I think we'll, we'll go around the room here, and I want everybody to give me uh, what you think the, the biggest benefit you've gotten out of this uh, is so we can start with you, Matt, and and we'll go with uh, Leanne and then Imogen, and I'll I'll finish this up on it. Um, I think that I think it's a mix. Um, I, I'm not sure what the the biggest benefit is, um, and I'm not. It's like looking back at two years ago versus like before Kyle and I started uh, starting doing this, and you know now um, I definitely see an improvement in my business. Um, I definitely see an improvement in my um, like just how I structure my day, and uh, you know just I take those breaks that I need. Otherwise, I would plow through. Um, but I think just having somebody to uh, just call when you know you know that they're going to be available you know that they're sitting in front of their desk and they understand this like what you're going through if it's a problem client or they they have advice for layouts on uh, on like a hero or you know just just anything that's in your realm like I'll go to the bar and talk to uh, talk to friends about it like oh man this is happening with a client and nobody nobody understands nobody you know yeah. they'll try to give their <clears throat> input but it's just it's not the same as having somebody that's in the same field and you know um like a year ago i was with i was dating a girl and uh you know i would talk to her about it and still same thing like it's just it's not the same you know so mm -hmm. i think that's that's the most important thing i've gotten from it yeah and Kyle, i'm or, next i'm like i forgot yeah. the order no yeah well, <laughs> i shouldn't have probably done that at the beginning but yeah. <laughs> Well, it kind of it skips around on my screen. Um, I think, I mean, for me, it's just, um, I mean, I've just, I've been working alone for so long. Um, it's just, it's nice to have those friendships and those, um, you know, connections with people. Um, you know, I've, I've been working out of my house for the last 12 years. And I mean, you know, some days I wouldn't leave my house for, you know, the entire day. Um, so, you know, it's, it's nice to have that human connection. Um, and I mean, I also kind of learned about like co-working spaces through some of it. And, you know, now I'm, I'm at a co-working space a couple times a week. And, um, I think, you know, just having an accountability partner, um, it's, it's for me, it's that social aspect that was kind of missing, um, and just someone to bounce ideas off of, or, you know, just to, to look over something and, um, cause I know like for me, I always struggle with writing, uh, I can be a little more abrupt than I mean to be. So, you know, I can send something to Imogen and say, Hey, I'm like, does this sound good? Or does this just sound kind of mean? I'm like, cause I don't <laughs> mean it to be, but that's just the way that I talk and that's the way that I am. And I don't think to kind of soften things up a little bit. It's just like, this is what I'm trying to get out. And, you know, I'm like, make this sound better, please. <laughs> So it's, it's nice that I have someone to help me with that. Um, you know, like my husband does help me sometimes when I'm trying to write like a difficult email and, um, but it's nice just to have someone who also understands some of what, you know, needs to be said. And how about you, Imogen? Yeah, a lot of the same things that Paulie <clears throat> said really. I think, I think the, the best thing is knowing that you've, you, you've got that support all of the time. And I really look forward to my Friday afternoons um, with Leanne and I, I, I do get grumpy when when I can't make it. <laughs> not Friday afternoon to be like sometimes. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. and, and I've learned you know, different things from Leanne. Like she's helped me um, um, improve my FTP skills and that kind of more technical aspects. And and I know that if I can just go to her 
without any introduction and say, can you just help me with this? Can you, when you get a moment and it's so I'm, it's kind of micro learning, isn't it? Um, mm-hmm. It's fantastic. And you, you know that you don't have to put on any airs and graces and just dive in and say, can you help me? And yeah, yeah. and it's got, yeah. she's got your back, you know. Um, and yeah, confidence, confidence, um, going through <clears throat> similar kind of issues, alleviating that loneliness and, um, and actually having a laugh um as well that's really really important and um mm-hmm. nico the cat likes to join us every friday <laughs> as soon as the call's up the yeah, within the like lap. five minutes the cat's up on my lap he's like hey call time <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think i think for me the, the biggest part of it is the confidence part and just that feeds into so many different things you know so having more confidence allows me to go go after bigger jobs ha- having more confidence allows me to charge more for jobs uh having more confidence allows me to set better boundaries with clients and when you you know i'm, I'm new to this world I'm, I'm not new to the creative field or new to business but i'm new to the web design business so there are just uh things that are different uh you know in every industry so having mm-hmm somebody else's experiences and their advice gives me confidence to be able to better run my business. So I think that that just feeds into so many things. So I think that's the thing that I, that I find most valuable from it for sure. Yeah, so, so my hope is with this discussion, as, as we get close to wrapping it up here, uh, my hope is that some people are inspired to find somebody to, to have this kind of relationship with, but it is kind of awkward, you know, like, Hey, you don't want to write somebody in, Hey, do you like me? Um, <laughs> Send the little the, the little note. Will you be my friend? Circle yes, yes or right. no. <laughs> yeah, we might be able to do that cool like on a website or something. But, but until we can fork um, until we can fork Tinder, I, I'm not sure the best way. And I tried to think of some different ideas to um, to try to find a way to connect some people uh, without going to huge great lengths. But I think what I'll do is start a thread in our group. If you're not a part of our group, you can go to theadminbar.com forward slash group and we'll let you in there. There's about a little over 500 people in there now, so I'm sure that there's uh, plenty of people to choose from at least. Um, But if you're interested or just open to finding uh, somebody to work with, there's gonna be other people in the group as well. You know, let's put put a comment in there, you know, uh, Mm -hmm. maybe just introduce yourself. I'll I'll start the thread out so everybody knows kind of what it's about, but just introduce yourself in the thread and you might see people that stand out or or people that you've talked to before and not know that they're looking for the same thing too. So I don't know that it's the perfect solution, but maybe it helps at least somebody kind of connect with someone and help them out. Yeah, that's a great idea. And then if anybody has any questions or, or, uh, you know, not sure exactly how to go about it, I'm sure any of us would be glad to uh, chat with you too about any of our experiences. So I just volunteered (laughs) y'all. All right, before we get out of here, uh, Leanne, do you have any, uh, any other thoughts or anything going on you'd like to promote or talk about or? Oh, um, how can people connect with you? People, you know what, uh, kind of the best way is through Facebook. Um, you can also find me over on Twitter. Um, I've got Leanne Mitten on there. Um, I'm starting to use that one a little bit more, but I know Facebook is kind of the, the primary way of getting in touch with me. Um, you know, I, I love helping out whenever I can. Um, you know, I've got that that technical knowledge and background that a lot of people now don't have because you didn't you don't need it anymore to kind of build some websites where for me it's just it's second nature and I mean I love helping people. Yeah, when you don't have it though, you get yourself in a lot of trouble because I do that. You all can, the time. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I like troubleshooting. That. Yeah, like I, I like troubleshooting problems. Um, I, I've always loved problem solving. So I mean, like if I can help someone through something, I, w- I would, you know, love to. I can shut down a client's email like nobody's business. <laughs> all right, Imogen, how about yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm over on LinkedIn. Um, same again for um, same industry. I'm tend to be over on Facebook having those kinds of conversations. So yeah, and I'm in uh, a few of the uh, the groups at, in Admin Bar as well. So um, I'm around floating around on Facebook. So yeah, reach out if you need any help. Awesome. Well, I do got a couple of uh, housekeeping items before we end this. So bear with me here. Um, we did a little uh, survey in the group for fun. 
and and I think because we promote jackassery around here, we got a lot of jackassery answers, which I definitely enjoyed, and that was fun too. Uh, but one thing I did notice is about half the people didn't realize we had a YouTube channel set up. So if you go to the adminbar.com forward slash YouTube, uh, you can subscribe to our channel. You can press the little bell button, whatever they say on YouTube. Um, but we do post some stuff in there that's not as long format. And that was some of the other feedback that we got that people don't always have 45 minutes to sit down and listen to something, but they want to kind of be involved. So we do post some stuff on there that's shorter format. Or the other hack is I watch everything on YouTube on like one and a half or two times yes. speed. So you yes. get through a 40 minute interview in 20 minutes and boom, there you go. You just gain 20 hours or 20 minutes yeah. to your day. So. I do the same thing with my podcasts. Yeah. They're always, sure. they're always sped up. Yeah. And you, you don't notice. I, I'm at the point now where I wish that other things in life I had that button for. Yeah. <laughs> other conversations, I wish I could do that. Uh, everything seems too slow now. Um, <laughs> so yeah, definitely, if you would, uh, subscribe to us on there and check out those things. Uh, if you want to partake in the survey, you can go to the adminbar.com forward slash 2018 hyphen survey. I should have made that easier, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you're welcome. We'll probably leave that up for another week or two. So if you want to give us your feedback and what you'd like to see in the show, we're just trying to get uh, the temperature of everybody in the group and make sure we're producing the content that everybody wants and enjoys and gets the most out of. So um, Matt, do you have anything to add? No, I think you covered it, man. Yeah, I never shut up. No, <laughs> I can cover a lot of ground. That's why we work together, man. You're the face. I'm, no, the, I'm the, the technical face. background. You're the hair and, the face, <laughs> and I'm just the mouth. <laughs> well, uh, I certainly appreciate y'all joining us here today. It has been fun. I hope everybody got a lot out of it. I know we're going to be asking. I actually had uh, wrote down two ideas uh, uh, for future shows, one with each of you. So uh, hopefully mm. you'll come back and hang out with us again. Well, sure. I'd love to. It's been awesome. good. Well, no no technical difficulties connecting up. Yeah, I know. Thank <laughs> God. Thank God. And there was no koi fish in the episodes. No. Too. Uh, anyways, um, next week, join us Tuesdays. Tuesdays is when we do this. So uh, next week, join us. We're having a really cool discussion with somebody, uh, Brett Phillips, who we saw at WordCamp in Dallas. And we're going to be mm -hmm. talking about like pricing and pricing jobs and how to go about that. Uh, <clears throat> I think that's something nobody talks about that much. Like, let's put some dollars to it and, or pounds mm -hmm. or whatever Canada uses. I don't know. More uh, dollars. Okay, I'm just messing with you. Uh, <laughs> Our quarters yeah. have moose on them. There you go. <laughs> Everything has moose on them. Um, anyways, I think that'd be a cool conversation where we can kind of talk about some pricing and strategy and stuff like that. So join us next week and we'll see you all then. Bye.